Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Series 888. My name is Tanya. All right, so it's a full moon out there, my friends. Manifest, manifestation time, manifestation, man. It's the strawberry moon called, and it's also the full moon in Sagittarius. So let's do a reading, man, because this weekend is where it's at. Let's call in spirit and let's get this party started, shall we? Spirit guides and angels of your whitest light, please give me a clear message for the collective, one that brings healing, hope, and understanding of their situation. Please protect me as I open myself up to channel these messages and please protect my beautiful collective. Amen. All right. So collective readings, any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a gender, but if I say he or she, please excuse and forgives like on the way in it gives me an energetic donation to the channel helps me tune into you these are past present or future energy so whenever you press that play button i believe that spirit was motivating you to do so and i so thank you from the bottom of my heart each and every one of you for liking subscribing and giving my channel a shot by viewing it i so appreciate that thank you so much flip the roles as you see fit i could be saying you and meaning a person I could be saying a person meaning you and if the shoe don't fit or quit, my friends, check your placements. You could have more than one astrological sign in your chart. Spirit, come through with the energy. What is the overall energy on this full moon? Thank you, spirit. Flying out. Quieting the mind. And that could be through meditation. Uh -huh. Reflection. You know? Spiritually grounding yourself. Yes. Somebody needs to quiet the mind through meditation, through contemplation, through relaxation. That's when these downloads can happen or these heal this healing energy can take place for you. Yep. And at the bottom of the deck, into me I see. So through these downloads this quieting time you're finding yourself so within yourself you're becoming transforming and learning about who you truly are yep and that's what i'm getting into me i see so you're going to look into yourself and through that quieting of the mind that's when those moments happen okay and it doesn't take long it doesn't have to take long but time heals all wounds is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. And I think that for some of you out there, you need that healing. You need that time. And you should be taking that time to prioritize yourself is what I'm hearing. All right, Spirit, let's do moon manifestation, man. We just do moonology manifestation here. And let's see. What happens with that in spirit? Give me a card, please. On um, this full moon. What is going on with this quieting the mind, spirit? I want all of these cards, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Quarter, last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for self-love. Amen. So this is the into me I see. You need to love yourself. You need to spend time alone with yourself. Maybe you've always been a giver to everybody else, but you've given hardly anything to yourself. Spirit saying it's time to change that. Bottom of the deck, last quarter moon in Capricorn, leave the past behind. Uh -huh. Cannot change what happened to you. The only thing you can change is how you deal with it today and how you move forward in the future with the knowledge an understanding of what you learned, right? Because everything's a lesson or a blessing. Some can be both, a blessing and a lesson. And I think that through reflection, we're walking away in this one. And this could be a Capricorn or Libra energy that we're dealing with here, air or earth, but it looks like this person's walking away, leaving the past behind. Mm -hmm. The past pains, the past mindset, even a past person, perhaps. Yeah, somebody's finding themselves, learning about themselves, and 
walking away from individual situations and set thinking that has kept them stuck. So really, when you think about love in general, you can't love someone else if you don't even like yourself, is what Spirit's saying. So take time to love yourself, man, because really, in the end, when all is said and done, you got yourself, you know, you're going to be with yourself more than you're going to be with anybody else in a sense. So take the time to love yourself, learn about yourself and understand yourself a little bit better. Maybe you've always catered to what other people wanted or what other people thought. And you never truly looked at yourself and said, what is it that I want? You know, you give so much to other people and there's like no gas left in the tank for you is what I'm hearing from spirit. Yeah. So now through meditation and spirituality, you're opening yourself up to the possibilities of other avenues, changes, transformation. Yeah. Possibly even love is what I'm hearing. So spirit, give me some more information on this transformation of this leaving the past behind perhaps spirit give me some more information on this i'm not leaving the past behind please because somebody is leaving it behind yep because it no longer serves them it no longer is what they thought it was in the beginning it's like you were fooled or your person was fooled yep can't take all of this spirit Uh-huh. Great achievement. Playing it safe. Taking steps and dark thoughts. Ooh, Nelly. Yeah. Present powers at the bottom of the deck. But one that stood out before present power came. What was that one? It wasn't this one. It wasn't intuition and manifestation. But this is another one that came out. But this commitment is something that I liked that I was looking at at the bottom of the deck before these other ones flew out. So there's a lot to unpack here. These are dark thoughts that you've had for a long time or your person has had. Mm hmm Yeah. But you're taking steps to change it. There's a commitment. This is contract. So you could have been married to somebody and that has left you with these dark thoughts, this dark energy. Taking steps, though, to walk away from this. Your intuition is manifesting a different life. Yeah. Playing it safe. That's why you stayed stuck with this person. Mm -hmm. You stayed stuck in this commitment that left you dark. Maybe there was dark entities, dark energies that were at force here. But you're standing in your power, man. You're standing in your power now. Mm -hmm. You're not letting it stop you. There's a great achievement that's going to be uh, met in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's walking away, man. It's got to, it's no longer playing it safe, playing it small is what I'm hearing. You got to move forward. And that's, that's the problem is that you haven't as of yet. You have stayed stuck maybe because you married somebody or this person married somebody and they, they had children and had a family, they had a commitment, they had a life, signed the contract on the dotted line. Now you're stuck. Yeah. So... You went towards a person that you, or this per your person went towards a person that they knew that they could be safe with in a sense of it was something they were familiar with, but it wasn't good. It was not like it was like this wonderful situation. It looked good on paper. It was a wonderful concept is what I'm hearing, but it was a dark en energy that they were entertaining, a dark energy they followed into hell is what I'm hearing. And what ended up happening is they got stuck in just really bad situations that they are embarrassed about, is what I'm hearing, and didn't think that they would ever be stuck in, you know, didn't think they would ever do. Maybe they thought about stuff like that, but they didn't think they were going to, it was going to happen for them as like they were going to be a porn star, whatever the case may be, but this is some dark stuff. And what they thought was going to be great and what was offered to them was which is pretty fantastic on paper or whatever 
turned into an absolute embarrassment to them. But they played safe in the sense of this person looked good. This person was somebody that they thought they knew. But they had no idea what this person truly was about until they got into a relationship with this person, signed on the dotted line with this person. And then it was dark, dark, darkness. Yeah, they got into this rabbit hole of darkness and sexual perversions. And what they thought was safe was actually very, very toxic. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. So now they have to stand in their power against this dark forces that have controlled them all this time. And their intuition is on point through these this manifestations, through these downloads, through this quiet, contemplative time away from this dark entity that they're with. Dark witch is what I'm hearing. They are using their intuition to manifest power, strength, to walk away from this person that's kept them stuck and they could be married to this person. They're taking steps, baby steps, in order to walk away from this person. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe they could be seeing you as achieving great things. Or there's great achievement in their future once they walk away from this dark entity. Yep. It's a comic that's really... doing the most to hurt this person they are a dark witch and this person is conjuring up a lot of dark magic to keep your person stuck and has done that for a long time using this person keeping them drugged keeping them fully focused on dark things and toxic energies yeah that's what i'm hearing and it's taken a lot for them to be strong enough to like walk away from this person. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Communion. Yep. Eagle communion. So they are communing with Spirit. Spirit is working with this person, but they're in the dark shadow. Yeah, the dark shadow, the shadow side, the dark side of the moon, man. It's been it's been darkness for a long time. This person followed this toxic entity and uh, just absolute maze into the rabbit hole. It's taken them a long time to use their intuition and to manifest something different. They played it safe, what they thought was safe, but it was really hell. Yeah, passion. This person has a lot of passion. Could be fire energy. And their passions have led them astray. Or it could be for what other people. It could be that they, they're passionate about someone else. Yeah, take it how it resonates. Let's go into the tarot and see what the tarot has to say about it. Spirit, give me some more information about this dark entity. About what's going on in this relationship and this commitment, Spirit. What's happening here? That this person needs to get the hell out of Dodge is what I'm hearing. Spirit is working with your person to get them out of the situation, that's for sure. Thank you, Spirit. Yep. Yeah. Moon. There you go. Manifestation, man. Moon. High emotions, illusions. They had an illusion and they were con there was illusions and confusions with this person that they thought they were playing it safe with. This dark person, this dark witch, this person that was basically screwing with their mind. Yep. Yeah. Using magic to keep them with them to keep them stuck possibly having a child with this person so that they wouldn't leave them and using sex magic moon magic a lot of magic and illusions and confusions to keep this person thinking that they were the one you know they believe that this person was sweet and innocent and there was nothing innocent about this person here we go empress in reverse yeah mm -hmm. the distorted empress Yep, somebody that you cannot trust. There's a pregnancy here, yep, that they... Yeah, there's a pregnancy here that this person... Maybe they even lied on this person. Said they were pregnant. I don't know, but they got them stuck. Lovers, yep, a choice. Lovers is a choice between two people, and they... They thought that this 
distorted empress was their empress and it wasn't and they were stuck in darkness for a long time oh my goodness on the floor well just bear it mm -hmm. yeah two of swords gemini libra and aquarius yeah they need to be balanced they need to make a choice but they they made a blind decision based on what they knew and what they knew was toxicity your person so that's what they went towards what they their vibe attracted this person this dark entity into their life that played games with them that used them for their money used them for sex used them for status didn't give a damn about them takes their money yeah takes their pride away from them you know what i mean makes this person feel small and they're tired of it they're tired of it you know they're realizing it through intuition their intuition that this is not what they want anymore this is an emperor with a distorted empress yeah and it took them a long time to get that maturity and stability yeah and now they're there and their life is changing slowly but surely is what i'm hearing you know what i mean page of wands aries leo and sagittarius they want to be honest about their situation and no longer no longer have a veil over the truth because they were embarrassed that they got themselves stuck in this situation they want to be strong right it's taken them a long time to recognize this person this distorted empress for who they are because they've used magic to control this person for so long you know and the family you know what i mean uh, the child whatever the child, the children, whatever the case may be, yeah. Knight of Wands, but in the reverse. This person wants to go towards a different situation, but they stayed stuck, you know. They want to commit now to a person. They're, they're, it's in the reverse. So this was an uncommitted in and out energy, but now they want to commit to something else. They want to commit to somebody else. Two of Wands, they want to build a connection with somebody else. Possibly it could have been you that they did not come towards, that they did not sign on the dotted line with but they walked away because this other person used magic to control and get this person into their life you know yeah and been controlling them for years on the premise of we're family and we have a family together and you want to break up the family page of swords yeah it was an immature energy and a page of swords could be a child that they have together and that's why this your person stayed in this connection all this time because they committed themselves to this family six of swords but they want to move out of this situation to calmer waters and yes and that they're, they're taking those initial steps to do that it's not an easy situation to walk away from because if they have a child but they've been in that time alone yep they've been separating themselves slowly but surely from this toxic empress and in that time of separation and contemplation they recognize this this person for who they are and who they're not yeah who they're not nine of swords and it's left them feeling lonely undervalued and rejected you know or it could be that you felt that way for a long time you un you were undervalued by this person but now they're feeling the effects of it. It's almost like a mirroring situation. What once was your situation is now this person's. And they're feeling really alone and separated from you. And blocked from their happiness and their abundance. And their finances are drained. And they're not happy at, at all with this distorted empress. Yeah, But they've had to do it smartly because this person's using magic to control them. And maybe they realize through readings themselves that they're being controlled by another person they're being controlled by a person that they thought loved them they haven't had the strength the strength is in reverse but they're trying to consciously conjure up the strength to leave this person dear god spirit come on now can't take all of these yikes death yeah death is here judgment's here so there has been a judgment on this connection there's going to be a death, a change of old patterns of behaviors, toxicities, and the end of this connection with this toxic empress, Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's a shift in this relationship between the distorted empress and the emperor. Now there is a control. The control is being taken back by your person, and they're 
you know, put, you know, putting their foot down and they're not allowing this person no longer to control them through magic, through sex, through whatever the means that they've been controlling them in the past. Knight of Cups. Yeah, they want to send a love message to a person, possibly you, you know, who they walked away from a, a long time ago. I'm hearing some spirit. They want to come towards you. Oh, my goodness, spirit tonight. Yeah, maybe at one time it was fast and heavy with this other person, but they realize that that's not what they want anymore. They want a commitment. They want to be the emperor that they know they can be, you know, versus just in and out energy, passion with no purpose, you know. No substance there is what I'm hearing. They didn't, they didn't give it and they didn't get it, basically, you know. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to gift someone, possibly you. They want to share their gifts with somebody. They want to team up with you. King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, they weren't, you know, this was not a romantic relationship. The person they're with isn't romantic. They're not romantic. It's sexual in nature, and it started out that way, but they possibly got trapped with a pregnancy by this distorted empress. You know, and for a long time, King Knight of Pentacles has come up so many times, and I'm just going to take it this time. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they're an emperor. They're a Knight of Pentacles. They they want security. They want love. They want to be that secure person. They want to offer you their pentacle, and they, they want to be that mature person, where in the past they weren't balanced. They needed that balance. And in this time, with this distorted empress and the shit that they've gone through with this person, they realize what they want and what they no longer want. And they're getting that courage up by the kahunas, the, you know, by the bootstraps. Uh, they are finding a way to slowly move away from this distorted empress and come towards you. So that's what I got today on this beautiful moon, full moon. Is that your intentions? Make them good. Don't make them dark. And I'll see you next time on Empress Aries 888. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Till next time. Be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.